This video will cover the topic simplifying a quotient involving a sum or difference with a square root. In this video, we will learn to simplify a fraction that has a square root in its numerator. Let's jump into an example problem. The square root of 72 plus 9 all divided by 15. Our goal is to simplify this as much as possible. When we see this sort of problem, the steps we want to take to simplify it are as follows. Step 1. Simplify the radical. Step 2. Factor the numerator, if possible. And step 3. Simplify the numerator and denominator by dividing each part by a greatest common factor, also if possible. We will now follow these steps. If we disregard the 9 and the 15 in the problem and we focus on the square root of 72, do you know how to simplify this square root? Yes, I can think of factors of 72 that are square numbers and then pull them out of the square root. I know that 36 and 2 are two factors of 72, and 36 is a square number, so that can be pulled out of the square root to make 6 square root 2. That looks like the simplest form of the square root. Yes, you are right. This means that we now have 6 square root of 2 plus 9 all divided by 15. Now we will follow step 2. What is the greatest common factor that can be factored out of the numerator, 6 radical 2 plus 9? It looks like 3 is the greatest common factor that can be divided out of each term of the numerator. Yes, that is right. Note that there won't always be a greatest common factor in the numerator. If this is the case, then the numerator is already simplified enough. After dividing each term of the numerator by 3, we now have 3 times the quantity of 2 times the square root of 2 plus 3. And written in the fraction, we now have 3 times the quantity of 2 times the square root of 2 plus 3 all divided by 15. Now to follow step 3. Do the 3 that we just pulled out and the 15 both have a greatest common factor that we can divide each part by? Yes, that should be 3, right? Yes, indeed. What do we have when we divide the numerator by 3 and the denominator by 3? It looks like we have 1 fifth. So that means the final fraction is 1 times the quantity 2 square root of 2 plus 3 all divided by 5. Is that the correct answer? Almost. We will simplify it one step further by leaving out the 1. So the final answer is 2 times the square root of 2 plus 3 all divided by 5. Okay, so just to summarize, when I have a problem like this, I first simplify the radical. Then I see if I can factor the numerator. And then if I was able to factor the numerator, I see if I can divide the pulled out factor in the numerator and denominator by a greatest common factor. After doing this, the fraction should be simplified. Good job! You have learned this topic well.